What is up people of Earth? This is Monkey Man and welcome back to another episode of Operation Food Computer. Today we have what we ordered in the last episode. Well we have... Well yeah, we do have what we ordered, but we still have not figured out the stupid uh, spray thingamadoodler. But we do have... I think this is our wire wrap and then this... It's our amazing tub. Check it out. Check it out now. We got a tub. I think it'll fit. Well, let me see if it'll fit. The thing's right over here. And boom. Perfect. I'll take you guys over to see this now. Check this out. It fits. Perfectly. Uh, see? Ta -da! Ta -da 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 -da! We have an amazing bin for a hydroponics food computer. I don't know why I'm singing. This is the food computer song. We got a tub. We got a tub. We got a tub. Hey, 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 hey. And now we will open our other package, which I'm hoping is our wire wrap tool because we need it for what we're going to be doing today. Which is the Arduino Mega Proto Shield module, step number eight. So let's see. This is the old school, old school wire wrap tool that we had to order off Amazon. Are you a wire wrap tool? Oh yeah, baby. Check it out. You look exactly like your picture. Oh. Yeah, I remember these. Oh no, the little hole looks a little small, but I think it'll do the trick. We'll figure it out as we go along though. So without wasting any more time, let's get to it. The Arduino Mega Protoshield Module Materials, one Protoshield package. I think that's this. This was our Protoshield package. Right here, Protoshield package. Check. A Grove connector with nine sockets. We have all these cables. We should be able to get something to work. Check. Wire wrapping wire assortment. Okay. A wire wrapping wire assortment. Um, we have these. Look, a wrap. The shrink wrap, I think that's what it might be referring to. If not, I have no idea. Tools, wire strippers, done. Soldering iron, done. Still in the package. Wire wrapping tool, amazing. We've been waiting on this for two weeks. Tools, a solder, solder wick, and a permanent marker I got in the other room. Instructions. Solder all header pins onto the shield. That's the first step? Solder all header pins onto the shield? What does that even mean? Okay. How about step one? Open the shield package. That's a better first step. Let's see what we got to work with here. Let's just use the back of this piece of paper to dump this stuff out on. Okay, here we go. We got six prong thingies and other pronged thingies. That's what they're henceforth known as pronged thingies. This one's a... This is a button? This looks like a little button thing. More pronged things. Some of them are bent, but we could bend them back into place. Okay, solder. Solder wick. Solder all header pins onto the shield and label specific Grove connector sockets S1 to S9. Solder S1 to S9 onto the shield as shown below. The receptacle pins are slightly smaller than the holes in the perf board, so you'll need to bend them out slightly. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the picture. We gotta try and match that. Alrighty then, it says solder all header pins onto the shield. What I've done is, I've got a 
extra kitchen baking pan here since we're on like a wood surface um, that I'm going to do all the soldering on and then I went and got some butane fuel for the butane torch because don't buy a butane torch without buying the fuel because you're going to have a bad time because it's not going to ignite and it's not going to work and then I also got some electrical silver bearing rosin core solder stuff so this is going to be my first time soldering anything in the whole wide world so it's going to be one of those let's just do it and see what happens kind of moments and we got our board here we got the picture and we're ready to rock and roll. I'm pretty sure that these are the header pins. So I'm going to arrange them like they are in the picture. And I think I have to solder every single one of these things onto the board. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and see how it goes. completely messed up the board as you can see in a second is it gonna focus is it gonna focus I messed up the board my first time soldering pretty much went as expected it sucked so I messed up and I don't have the tool that I need to like fix the bad solder so I used the rest of these pens as like practice until I get the other until I get the little thing it's it's like a little pin thing that you click and it like sucks the solder you have to like heat it up like so and then you suck out the solder with the gun so you can redo it which is what I'm gonna need to do on this entire thing of pins and then I also noticed that this the solder that I was using was a little thick so I'm going to see if I can find at the store like something a little thinner and then keep practicing, I guess. And oh my gosh, this is going to take forever to solder all these. There's like all these I got to solder. Oh man. I don't know why I started with the hardest one though. Like these ones are just single ones and then I, I started with this one with like a mazillion pins, which was a bad idea. So in hindsight, start with a simpler one and work from there. And then I got this wet sponge here to clean the end of the torch off as well, on top of having the, this surface. And then I think next week when I attempt the soldering again, I'm gonna use some sort of clamp um, to hold this in place so that I can use two hands to get like precise um, instead of having this kind of move around while I'm trying to fiddle around with it. But that's going to be it. If you guys enjoyed me messing up, hit that like button with those pinnable thumbs and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.